Okay, so uh, welcome everybody to the final day of the workshop Markov partitions and Yang Towers. And well, today I believe I will be the chair for Vilton and then Stefano will be the chair for the last talk. So it is a great pleasure to have Vilton Pinheiro from UFBA, Universidade Federal da Bahia. And Vilton will talk about the thermodynamic formalism for expanding measures. Please, Wilton. Okay. So, uh, uh, so uh, let me thanks for the organizers for inviting me. It's a great pleasure to be here in the CTP again, at, at least virtually. Okay. So, <laughs> thank you very much. And uh, indeed, for me, it's uh, this this workshop was uh, very useful because the, the disconnect between the, these two kind of uh, point of view about uh, uh, non-formally uh, hyperbolic dynamics, about thermodynamic formally and so on. So for me, it was really a pleasure to be here to, I, I tried to follow up the mini course and uh, also the, the talk. So thank you for uh, the invitation and thank you for the idea to mix these this two branches of uh, uh, the study of non-uniformly hyperbolic systems. So uh, this is based in, in, uh, in a joint work with Paulo Varandas. And uh, first of all, uh, I want to say that in this talk, I'm, I'm going to focus on measures, not on sets. Uh, many of the talks and the mini course, they, they, uh, the people uh, uh, try to get a, a set with good properties and study the, the, all the measures in that set. Here, I'm going to focus in measures, not in sets. This is a point. And so I'm going to uh, uh, fix the, the set in here. So uh, for me, this double uh, X is, is going to be a separate met metric space for all the talk. And uh, this uh, calligraphic C is uh, a close empty, uh, a close set with empty material. Okay, this is, you will be the the critic or a singular set, something like that. Okay, and you are going to work with a uh, a map that is defined in this uh, metric space up to this critical set. In in, in practical. When you have, a, 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 for instance, a, a Riemann manifold and you have a critical set, what I'm doing is take out the critical set and look for only for the complement of it. This is simplifying the notation and I'm going to explain it during the, the talk about it. And when, you, when you, we have some concrete application, so you have to, uh, translate the information by this kind of setting in, uh, in the application. So, so we are going to assume that uh, uh, you have this map F is a local uh, homeomorphism and is beliefs in this sense. So for every point, so let me begin with draw, I, I like to draw. So for every point outside the critical set, you have some neighborhood that in this neighborhood you're going to see a Lipschitz map. So the, 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 the constant of Lipschitz depends on, on the point, of course. So uh, let me define what is a strongly transitive. Uh, strongly transitive is uh, a map strongly transitive. Is the alpha limit or the pre-orbit of uh, all points is dense in the in the, the space, the metric space, or if you want, the alpha limits uh, that uh, is the whole uh, space. Okay, for every point, okay, outside the discrete region. Okay, uh, this is equivalent. If you to take a in a open set, and you iterate the open set. And, and this is going to be the whole space. So at least contain the whole space. Okay. So, but uh, uh, in, in, in this, uh, so I'm assuming that uh, if you have a, 
set inside here. Uh, this is uh, so okay, but it's not. Uh, let me take out this again. So uh, I, I'm going to assume that this map is strongly transitive, and also that this map is weak topological mix, mixing. This means that uh, the, in, if you take uh, the the product of the measure, oh, of the uh, map, you are going to this map you're going to be transitive. Okay, so this is a uh, so. But uh, let me explain how we can get these two products. It's not very difficult to get uh, mm -hmm. to get. Uh, to get uh, maps and sets with these properties. For instance, if you, have, if you take a, a C1, a C1 map, let me say that, of the interval, for instance, and you take a cycle of interval, so you have a, a finite number of interval inside here. This is a cycle of interval. And, uh, and F we restrict to this cycle of interval is uh, transitive. This is imply that uh, the map uh, restricted to this interval is not only a uh, strongly transitive but also weak topological mixing. You can uh, so uh, we need to put for be sure c one plus epsilon. So this uh, this will be strongly transitive and weak topological mix. So are you are you the drawing has gaps between these intervals. Are they meant to be there or not? These gaps. Yeah, because this is a cycle of interval. They, 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 oh, it's a cycle of intervals. Okay, yes. okay. Sorry, yes. yes. Okay, so the dynamics is something like that. And oh, okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. They have critical points here. Typically, so this is an example. A, a more general example. You take any expanding. I'm going to explain carefully what is expanding measures, but you take a. A Riemann compact manifold and take a C1 plus alpha map and with a no flat critical region. If you take a, a measure, an invariant probability of all the Lyapunov exponent positive, and if this uh, uh, measure is uh, suppose that the, the the support of this measure. Is uh, it's not no empty and and if this measure is a uh, mixing, so you are going to get so suppose that this is the support of some measure, and I got with all uh, Lyapunov positive, it's uh, it's point positive. For instance, a uh, uh, absolutely continuous variant measure. And uh, it's not difficult to prove that you can uh, find a, a subset, an open subset inside this. This is a total, this is a subset we want to be invariant for our invariant. And uh, strongly suppose also that your measure is mixing. So you have uh, inside the support uh, open set with. Uh, uh, full probability for this measure, and uh, that is going to be strongly transitive and weak topological mixing. Also, so we can get a, a lot of examples. Easy, really easy to make to give example of this kind of setup. Okay. So let me go. Uh, Excuse me, Vilton. Okay. So can this strong uh, trans the strongly transitive uh, be related to the natural extension? Um, Can it be stated in terms of the natural extension, this this uh, foundation? I, I think that if uh, you take the natural, natural extension, 
Probably yes, but I I I I, I didn't think about it. But probably yes. But probably this uh, property may be uh, because it's a, a strong property. It's easy to find a set satisfying the both of the both both a hypothesis. But uh, I think this uh, okay. Probably yes. So, uh, as I told you, I'm going to focus on measures. So, uh, in dealing with expanding measure, but you have to flex, uh, to make it, uh, things a little bit uh, more general to, to obtain our result. So, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, zooming, uh, measuring zooming contraction and a lot of uh, something like this. The idea is to generalize a bit the, the idea of hyperbolic times, and we uh, uh, we are going to use not only exponential exponential uh, expansion or contraction back, backyard, uh, but also uh, polynomial one and some something like that. So why that? Because we need to. Uh, when you are working with uh, expanded measure, uh, each expanded has a, 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 the Lyapunov exponents, and the Lyapunov ex exponent can go very uh, weak. And uh, we want to put all this measure in the same uh, setting, the same picture. And to do that, we want to not only talk about uh, exponential growth or a contraction, but also sub exponential ones. And uh, so the, the definition is very simple. You, we, we are going to say that a, a, a collection of functions is a zooming contraction. Is this is a contraction? It, this is very important. Uh, it's a, uh, this contraction may be very weak, but you have to get a contraction. And uh, okay, this is a subadditive. And uh, you need also that uh, uh, the summability of this contraction. Okay. For example, if you take uh, uh, alpha n, this contraction like that, this is the exponential case, the first one here, or a polynomial case, you will see that it's easy to see that uh, this satisfies all the, these conditions. So. So uh, what is a, zoom, a zooming time? It's a generalization of hyperbolic time. And so the, the idea uh, is the following. Let me draw a picture first. So uh, I want to say that N is a zooming time, time for P. Indeed, the zoom time depends of constant in this uh, alpha. This is the zooming contraction. Contraction. And uh, 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 delta. This is uh, the rate of the hyperbolic ball. Okay. And uh, also, uh, this L is. Uh, Maybe this uh, this um, hyperbolic time is not really for f, but for iterate of f. And sometimes you cannot see the the backyard contraction or expansion in the first iterate. You have to iterate more, and so this this allows uh, to get this information. So uh, in in so what is a zooming time? You are going to have some a uh, neighborhood of the point that is the zooming free ball, okay? That's going to be sent. And uh, so uh, in this interval, for a ball, this is an open set. This is going to be a, a, a homeomorphisms. And uh, okay, so, but the, the, the important information is you are going to see contraction, uh, alpha one here and uh, Alpha two here and so on. Alpha three here. So you are going to see a backward contraction. In the case of hyperbolic time, this backward contraction is exponential, but you can generalize it. 
So is okay. this the only difference, Wilton? So the difference is that you are relaxing the exponential contraction. This is yeah. This is yeah. what this is about. Yeah, yeah. Allowing allowing summable. Yes. More general rates. Okay. So you see, this is very important because uh, uh, indeed, if you have for a, a good uh, dynamics, you have a exponential expansion of contraction. You're oh, sorry. Uh, a sub exponential expansion contract, so you're going to get indeed a, a exponential one. But the, the problem is uh, uh, if you suppose that if you get put up, the problem is you want to put all your measure, expand the measure in the same uh, zooming contraction. So if you try to do that exponentially, you're not going to do that. So the, the idea is uh, if you relax the, the, this contraction puts, for instance, something like a, uh, something like that. Here, okay, something like sub exponential like that, you're going to get all the, the expanded measure with this contraction. So this is information is important. So I think that most of you are and very familiarized with this uh, this kind of object in the mini course of Z, and uh, many people talk about it. So, so it's, 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 uh, okay. So, what is a zoom measure? So, let me as denote this this set of uh, uh, natural numbers, the, the 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 collection of all zooming uh, times for a point P. Okay, zooming time for, with respect to some fixed uh, zooming contraction, delta n. Okay, and uh, we are going to say that a measure is a zooming measure with respect of these three constants. Uh, uh, if uh, you we have positive friction of uh, zooming time for almost every point, so the 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 set of points that we don't see. A uh, positive frequency has zero measure. Okay, this is a zooming measure. Okay, and uh, let us denote the uh, the collection of all zooming probabilities with this notation here. I I I, I want to point out that this uh, this set here is not a compact. Suppose that your your metric space is a compact. Uh, as a metric space. And uh, in, in this case, we, are, we may think, ah, maybe this collection is, is uh, uh, a compact subset of the measure, but not because this, uh, in, in these three uh, constants here, you are not, we are not put the information, of the, the frequency of uh, zooming times, only that is positive. So you can uh, take a, you can get out of this uh, you can take a, a sequence here and that the limit is not uh, an element this if you take uh, the sequence of low and low low frequency of uh, zooming time okay so this is not a compact set but this is a, a very good set I'm going to show why. Okay, so let me talk about expanded measure. So what is an expanded measure with this notation is a zooming measure with, with the contraction, with the zooming contraction being exponential. Okay, but uh, look at that now I'm going to consider all the expanded measure in, in the sense that I, I'm, I'll, uh, you can get an exponential Zooming contraction in any ratio of the hyperbolic ball and in L. So you get all this. So, example of uh, uh, zooming, uh, so, sorry, of expanding measure. Okay, again, if you have a local, uh, uh, a C1 plus map and uh, and suppose that this map don't have uh, is a local diffeomorphism, don't have critical set. So uh, a, a being an expanded measure means exactly all the Lyapunov exponents are positive. 
Okay, if you have a critical set, but you're in the context of C1 plus map, and suppose that your critical uh, region is not flat, that is look like a polynomial, something like that. And uh, so again, you're uh, expanding a measure, the collection of expanding measure will be the collection, the, all the ex, uh, invariant probability of all the Lyapunov exponent positive also. So if you have a, a, a mix of singular S, S points and uh, uh, critical points, that is the, the derivative go to infinity, the derivative is uh, zero. So you have to assume a, a additional condition that there is low reference to the critical, critical bar or singular set. So this means that this integer is uh, finite. So in this case, if you all uh, Lyapunov uh, exponents are positive and you have this condition, you're going to, this is going to be expanding. Okay. So it's, uh, it's what we, ex we expect to be an expanding measure. You see, in this case, we are not fixing uh, the height of hyperbolic uh, ball, nothing like that. Okay. So, so uh, uh, as I told you, I'm going to focus on measure, not on sets. So I'm going to define a expanded equilibrium stage for some potential, continuous potential phi, uh, by a, a measure that uh, the pressure on the measure, that is the entropy of the measure in the integrate of that is potential with respect to the measure, is equal to the supremum of all pressure for every uh, expanding measure uh, new. Okay, so I'm going to say that uh, call this this set this uh, number the expanded pressure of the the potential uh, phi. Okay, so equilibrium state is a, a measure that realizes a, a expanded measure that realizes the supreme, okay? And if uh, your potential is zero, so you're going to call this, and you have a equilibrium state for the zero potential, you're going to say that this measure is expansion, expanding a maximum, as a measure of expanding maximum energy, okay? So let me see, okay. So uh, this is only to recall the, the setting. It is not important. So the 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 variation of the the potential is this thing. Everyone know about it. And uh, uh, so this uh, uh, this notation is the upper conformal uh, uh, derivative for uh, the mapping in a point. Uh, as we are assuming that uh, f is a B Lipschitz a local homeomorphism. This is a a uh, finite number, okay. This is only a notation here. So I, I'm going now to uh, state the, the main result. The main result is the following. So suppose that F is strongly transitive with weak topological mix. And uh, uh, so the first information is uh, F uh, have at most one uh, measure of maximum entropy. Maybe the map, there are no measure of maximal entropy, no expanded measure of maximal entropy. But if you, if you this map uh, have one, have a, a measure of maximal entropy, this only one, okay? So but the, for this uh, first uh, item, we don't need the, the condition, this, the condition of uh, the uh, conformal derivative B bounded upper bound. Okay, so but if you impose this, this is uh, uh, easy to be realized by by a C a C one maps in a Riemann manifold. If you suppose this, okay, so you get get more information. Not to, you know that you have at most one uh, measure of expanding maximal entropy, but uh, we'll say that this uh, you have at most one. Oh, sorry, if you have a measure of maximum entropy, suppose now as the following, 
this is uh, you have a bond of this, and suppose also that you have a measure uh, with maximal expanded interval. Okay, so in this case, by the first item, you know this is the only one. But you more, more uh, you know more that uh, this is uh, the only one that realizes this uh, this this. Uh, this the pressure of the zero the uh, uh, expanding pressure of zero potential. This is the, okay. Uh, in the, the, the closer of uh, all uh, expanding matter. So this means that uh, you cannot uh, uh, approximate some some measure by expanding measure. Okay, all the measure that is can be approximated by expanded measure, and it's not an um, expanded measure. Sorry, what's this? Okay, it's not an expanded measure. The, the, the entropy is going to be lower. This is is going to be not not going to be the the top one. More than that. Uh, you we have some gap of the entropy. So in the the read so in the boundary, you see I can see it here. Uh, no, I, I'm going to explain about this gap after that. After let me uh, say something different here. It's uh, related with it that uh, if you take any cycles. Of expanding measure with a high entropy, uh, the accumulated point of the set must be a uh, expanding measure. So we are going to get some compact in for high uh, the uh, expanding measure with high entropy. Okay, this is the the second, and also we have this this property that is a good one that. Uh, uh, all uh, if you take in any holder potential with a small variation, so with sufficiently small variation, you are going to have uh, one and only one uh, uh, equilibrium state for this potential. So let me uh, emphasize this that we are in this context, we have some true information. That uh, sorry, Virton, can you just go back to the definition of maximal expansion yeah. uh, again? So, so when you say it's an expanding equilibrium state, yes, where where is the expanding because, because we are assuming that first, uh, you are saying that me is a expanding equilibrium state if me is an expanding measure. That's realize the supremo. Oh, so E of F is the set of expanding measures, not ergodic measures. Usually, no, this no. is the set of ergodic yeah, measures. Sorry, sorry. Uh, oh, I it's see. Expanding measure. Oh, I see. Okay, so you are you are restricting yourself to the um, to the space of expanding measures. But are you always assuming that this is non-empty? Then this. Uh, Okay, uh, uh, okay, that's, uh, that's a good question. But uh, the, the, in this context, if you have uh, or this is empty, so I cannot say nothing about this. It's, uh, and uh, but indeed, if you have one measure of uh, one expanded measure, maybe a periodic point, you're going to uh, you have indeed a uh, not a uh, uncountable many uh, expanded measure, and the entropy is going to be. A positive and so on, because of the hypothesis of a strongly transitive and a weak topological mixing can so that. So it's a, a dichotomy. Or you have empty set, they, they, they no expanded measure, or have a branch of a expanded measure, a lot of. Uh, okay, so this is the the main uh, result. And uh, so I'm going to explain. Let me see how much time I have. Okay, I'm going uh, to try to explain 
uh, the, the main step to get there. So uh, I'm going to be quick. I say I know that many of you know most of these things, so I'm going to try to be quickly to uh, point uh, to to emphasize the the crucial points. But I'm going at the same time to try to put uh, at least in this slide all the information. So uh, what is a, a full industrial map? It's a, a, you have an open set B and you have a, a, a collection of open subsets of this set B, and uh, you are going to send these uh, open sets uh, uh, homeomorphically to the, the whole B, and uh, uh, at the same time, you, you can uh, extend, the, extend it for the boundary. So this is the second, uh, uh, okay, so here, and uh, it, uh, the diameter of uh, uh, the diameter of the uh, let me explain by if you take uh, uh, n of b, this is going to be smaller and smaller. Uh, Primate of it, and this, the, the diameter of this primate go to zero for every point that is remain by the dynamics in, in this uh, in this B. Okay, so and also we are assume that this is a uh, induced map, so this is something like that for some R. This is what I'm going to to call a full induced Markov map. Okay. So uh, this result is, uh, we have 10 years this result. And so uh, they say that if you have a zooming measure, you can always uh, get a full inducing map associated to it. Associated to it. And uh, in, in, indeed, uh, this zooming measure, the zooming induced, uh, sorry, this full induced Markov map is going a, a first zooming return time to, to the set. I'm not saying that is uh, the first return time to the set. It's the first zooming return time to the set that we, you have to, to wait for a, a zooming time and see that the zooming time is go back to the, the set. But it's the first zooming return time to the set. This formation. I'm not going to use here, but this information is uh, interesting if you you uh, want to. Uh, oh, I'm going to talk about this. I I don't want to uh, give much information. That's not necessary. Okay, so more than that, they they. This is a, a good industry map, the number of elements with the, the, the same uh, induced time is finite and so on. And okay, this measure is, has a unique lift to this induced map. This lift is a, an ergodic a measure with indeed a bonded Hadon uh, Kondi derivative. Okay. So uh, this is important because uh, if we are going to use this induced map to get a lot of uh, property of the, the expanding matter. So this is for zooming, okay? But we're going to focus on expanding. So let me. This is a, a, a definition, and uh, we say that a, a, a measure is fat if the measure C open set fat. But here we need more. We need what we call a fat inducing map. This means that take a, a, a zooming ergodic probability, and uh, by the, the, the previous result, this zooming ergodic probability has some uh, full induced map associated to it. And we are asking that we, if you, if a uh, new is the, the lift of this measure, the support of me is going to be the whole uh, quantum domain of the industry map. Okay. 
So uh, this means that uh, they, they, they lift C, they lift this fat. So they, they, they lift C uh, open sets. Okay. So the idea is, is the following. We are not going to uh, look for all the expanding measures because all the expanding measures, sometimes you don't know uh, main uh, information, but you can show that uh, you, can, you can approximate all ex, uh, uh, expanding measures, but, but a fat one, but an induced fat one. And uh, uh, this uh, induced fat measure is, uh, has a lot of good problems. We are going to get a, 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 indu a induced Markov map that kept all these fat induced map. Not all, all the fat, all the expanding one, but all the fat expanded one. So this is uh, the idea. And more than that, no, so, but uh, let me, I, let me see the time. Okay, I have time. So, uh, Oh, welcome. So, so by this uh, you mean, uh, in a smooth context, this would be a uh, uh, a, a measure that has that has like an absolutely continuous measure, or uh, or somehow you're talking about measures that are not supported on 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 so zero. On you see, uh, the, they, they, or something like that. Okay, uh, absolute ma uh, absolute continuous invariant maths is good for this. It's uh, you can show that uh, th this is a fat inducing map, but it, it, uh, what we are looking not only for absolute continuum, but all the measures that have this property because the absolute continuous measure it's a one one it's only one measure. This is not a, you cannot approximate all. Others uh, uh, expand the measure by, by absolute continuum. So we need more. Then you you have to think in, in the, the following way: a fat measure is a fat, a measure that C open set. A fat induced map is a, a measure that when you lift it in this induced map, this uh, measure is fat also. Okay. So let me explain why these two uh, properties is important. So the first one is a, a, it's a, a lemma. It's, it, it's not difficult to show that if you have a strongly transitive map, and at the same time this map is weak topological mix, so uh, all iterations of f is going also to be strongly transitive map. So this means that the alpha limit of all points is going to be this. Okay. So this is uh, important. And so what we can do with this information, suppose that F, uh, uh, F is a uh, stronger uh, transitive for all iterates. For instance, if satisfy both conditions, this is true. And uh, in this case, if you have a, ah, just one, uh, a zooming a, 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 a expanded measure, that is a, a zooming measure with a, a exponential, uh, the contraction exponential. So we are going to uh, prove that you have a, uh, you have going to get a residual set of points that with a positive fraction of zooming measure, you have to, uh, uh, we may uh, lose some, some of the contraction, a, a little thing of the contraction, you begin with this, now we have this, but this is going to be a residual set with a positive friction frequency of uh, zooming times. And you are going to use this several times. So, uh, so a consequence of this is uh, in, in this theorem here, we say that uh, uh, given a zooming measure, you have, have induced map 
that this uh, a good inducing map, a full inducing Markov map, that uh, this measure can be lifted to this to set. But now we know uh, know more. We know that the the, the domain of the inducing map is going to be uh, dense in the the counter domain. So the the picture is like that, really. Okay, this is important to to get a full induced uh, fat induced uh, measures. So let me uh, put a notation. I'm going to uh, write this for the, the set of all fat induced expanding measure. Of course, uh, this is a subset of this, but now you know more that this is dense. So more than that, we can approximate uh, and not only expanding measure by uh, fat induced expanded measure, but also uh, the entropy. And give any uh, whole the potential, you're going to get the, the integrate of this potential for the, the uh, expanded measure uh, for the for a fat, fat induced expanded measure as close as you want to the, the integrate of potential for your uh, expanded measure. So what's the consequence of this? That you, if you have this condition, storm transit weak mixing, so uh, the pressure on the expanded measure is going to be the same of the pressure on the fat expanded, fat induced expanded measure. Okay, for any poten for the potential. So you can try, so as you know that uh, at the same time, this set, is uh, every expanded uh, measure can be approximate of uh, 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 expanded fat one, but you can uh, focus to uh, analyze uh, the modern formalism not for the, the expanding, but for the expanding fat indices. Why that is important because this measure, you can put all this measure in the same uh, scale. What do, 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 do we mean about that? This, the, uh, the, the collection of uh, expanding fats induced the map is inside uh, zooming, uh, the collection of uh, zooming probability with the same constant here. Look, uh, the, this is the zooming contraction. The zooming contraction not more exponential, but uh, it is sub-exponential, but it's the same for every uh, measure, okay? So this is good because it, now you can construct an induced map that gets all this one and so all this one. Let me explain what I can do. So the, the theorem is the following. Uh, I'm going to assume this. If you don't assume this, you have to not only to all the expanding and or the fat expanding this map for, but you have to fix the iterate of uh, the map. If you assume this condition, you don't care, you can do this for all the iterates. So that, that's the reason that you get a, a more information if you assume this, this thing, okay? So uh, the result is the following. Suppose, suppose this, that you have an upper bound of the uh, upper conformal derivative. And uh, suppose that you have a, if you pick a, a expanding, uh, I got expanding induced probability. 
So you can show that for any uh, scale that you want to construct in your induced map, this is good for some distortion reason if you want to do the calculation. And uh, for any, uh, there exists some uh, epsilon zero that for any epsilon uh, below this one, uh, there is a, a zooming uh, induced uh, uh, map such that, okay, all the, the good properties, the, the, the number of uh, elements with the same return time is finite, uh, the, 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 the domain is open and dense in the counter domain here. And uh, uh, this measure will be liftable to this one. But more than that, uh, sorry. Uh, so, uh, okay, this is a, a copen space problem. Uh, as we are assuming here, we can, this is true, but it's not so interesting. And so you have, okay, sorry but the copy paste. Uh, uh, so uh, the, the, the good thing is all uh, fetching, uh, all expanding fat induced map is going to be uh, lift, liftable to this induced map. The idea is the following. Suppose that you know that you have a, a measure that can maximize the expanding entropy, okay? A measure mi zero. So this is this saying that you can construct a, a induced map that is well adapted to this one. This you can lift through the, the, this, and not only to this one, but all the uh, the fat induced expanding measure. And this this set of fat induced expanding measure it can approximate all the expanded measure and it can approximate all, also the, the pressure of all the expanded measures. So we can study this, this uh, okay? So uh, this is important because uh, in, in principle, we don't know if you are a candidate of uh, uh, expanding uh, or maximal expanded uh, entropy measure if this is a fat one or not. So, so let me let me explain. Uh, let me uh, in, in the, uh, I I'm talk about the gap that uh, the the if you have a a, a fat expand induced map, okay, uh, I uh, induced the map that maximize the maximize the expand the entropy. You're going to get get some kind of gap in the, the the measure that belongs to the closure of the expanded measure that measure, but not to expand one. That is, you should get if you take a sorry, if you take a measure here, you're going to get that that the entropy of this measure here is going to be not only uh, less than the, the maximal entropy here, but uh, maximum entropy here, sorry, but you're going to have a gap in this thing. So why, uh, uh, the first information about this is this lemma. Suppose that uh, this is a, a population, not so easy, but not so difficult. You say, suppose that, uh, look for this expression here. This is the uh, this is the the entropy. So and this we can think of as the integral of sorry of the return point, something like that. Okay. So you, what I can say in this expression that if if you have uh, if this is going to to infinite, this the, this. Uh, this region, this number here going to zero. Let, let me explain to you. So we can define a, a gap of F like this. You take, uh, uh, so what I'm doing here, you have, I do the map F, okay. And you're looking 
in all the invariant uh, measure for the induced map. Okay. And uh, you calculate uh, this number that the, the, this number here, this limit. Okay. This is going to be the, we are going to call it the gap of F. And uh, it's not difficult to, to show that this is less than log of two. Okay, this is a number. Why I want to do that? Let me say, this is a, 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 a crucial ingredient of, uh, of this uh, scenario here. Uh, so let uh, F be a full induced Markov map. In this context, I forgot about uh, Zoom. I'm, we are going to apply this for the expanded matter, but this is abstract. Suppose, suppose that you have a full induced Markov map. Okay. And so the first information is there is, there is only one F, uh, capital F invariant probability me that maximize, that's realized. Oh, sorry. Yes. So that's uh, realized this, uh, the, the entropy of all the least uh, invariant measures. So look that this, this is uh, a finite number because this is less than a topological entropy uh, of the map, original map indeed. Uh, the, 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 the pressure of, okay, the maximum entropy. So why that? Ah, more than that, okay. So, uh, so you have only one uh, capital F induced uh, that capital F, so an invariant probability for the induced map that realize this. More than that, uh, this, this F is a uh, uh, Bernoulli probability. Okay, I'm going to uh, show the, the formula of this app, this uh, uh, measure. And uh, if this measure is, is, can be project to a, a measure of the original map, invariant of, of the uh, original map, then uh, this projection is going not only to maximize uh, is the entropy of uh, the lift ball uh, measure, but all, also on the closure of the lift, lift ball measures. More than that, if you get any measure that belong to the closure, but don't belong to the closure of the, the lift ball measure, but don't, it's not a, a lift ball one, so the entropy of this measure is going to be, uh, you have indeed, uh, is going to be, uh, you have to, you get a gap between this measure and the gap is going to be uh, given by this one. So the, the picture is, uh, you have inside figure the all the lift of the measure and if you should get a, a point in the boundary the entropy here is going to be definitive uh, be, uh, less than uh, the the measure of maximal entropy inside if if this measure of maximal entropy uh, can be projected Okay, so of course, uh, if you think about this uh, proposition and know that you have now uh, in the context, now we're going back to the context of expanding measure. You knowing that this proposition, you know that you can construct a induced map that uh, uh, catch all the fetching expanding fat induced one and 
you know that the expanding fat this one approximate not only the expanding measure much all must also the pressure of the expanding measure so if you put the uh, these two information together, you're going to think, ah, okay, this the 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 main result uh, is is to let let me go back to the main result, uh, so only to uh, sorry. Uh, this is so so this is going to be the reason that the, the main results. Okay, so this is the ingredients. Let me explain why, why this, uh, this proposition works. So the idea is the following. Okay. Uh, let uh, B, okay. No, sorry, this is not. Uh, let a uh, need be a f invariant probability. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, and this is a copy paste. And sorry again. And uh, uh, this forget all this thing here. So, but uh, you, you know. Uh, if you you if you have you you take an invariant measure for the induced map, so you're going to have uh, this like this. This is an equality. This is easy to to see. So that you're, we are using here that that is because the 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 induced map is a full one. That uh, this partition given by the element of. Uh, uh, the domain of uh, the use map is a generated uh, partition. So when you get, uh, so it's easy to show this one. So this, uh, we can, we can uh, split this, uh, 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 this formula, but, but in two parts, okay. This part is associated to the, the gap that I, I, gap I told you. And this, this is another part. You see, look that uh, uh, here you have, uh, this is a relative uh, a measure. So the idea is the following. Let me uh, put a, a, a picture. Oh, sorry, I, I mean, let, so let me on draw a picture. And so this is the Europe, see that suppose that is r u r equal to one r u equal to two and so on and you know that here you have some the idea is we split the information of the entropy in two parts the parts associate to the this big scale here that is the the set and inside a relative uh, entropy inside it's uh, it's of this block, e, and the 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 if you want to uh, maximize the entropy, you can see that uh, you you need to do two things. First, maximize inside each element of this. So, but this is 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 easy because this is a, a finite collection of. Uh, a, a, Elements so you can do the, the typical things that you do in uh, uh, the shift, a finite shift. And so you, you have to maximize each of these. And after that, you maximize the, 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 the entropy, forget inside, and as they, they uh, consider only these blocks. This uh, the, this entropy in this block is related to the first part that is related to the gap, and uh, the the point here is the following: if you you say that uh, you have a a, a measure a f invariant probability that uh, that realize this the, the the maximal entropy in this context, 
and uh, with this finite, you'll, uh, you'll say that this measure is going to maximize inside in, at the same time that it's going to maximize as the, the big blocks. And, uh, but the big blocks, uh, the entropy of the big, big blocks is zero if you have a measure that uh, this is infinite. So, okay, so this is what uh, provokes the gap. I don't have any time here. Uh, let me say, let me show only to uh, analyze uh, the formula of the, the, the measure, the Bernoulli measure that uh, maximize the, uh, this relationship here, this relation here that maximize this. This, this one, the formula of this one is precise the following. You take C as the supremo of this, and the, you're going to construct a Bernoulli me, uh, me, uh, measure with mass distribution in, in the element of the partition given by, by that. This is the problem. So you know you know the face of the the measure that satisfies like that and so on. But uh, it isn't so. So let me finish here because I uh, thank you for so <laughs> thank you and uh, thank you. Okay, so uh, do we have questions or comments for Wilton? Yes, I have a question. Please. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, could you uh, explain, uh, uh, go back to the definition of strongly transitive? Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, so, so here, alpha f is. Sorry. Yeah. Well, so, alpha so where, where, where f what is, is the alpha limit, alpha limit set. So here, your your your, your map is is invertible globally or, or not? No, this map is not. Uh, it's uh, it's locally in invertible because you see. Yes. Uh, so, so, so uh, what do you mean by an alpha limit set for when you're not globally invertible? Yes, you you take the you know the, the pre orbit of a point. Okay, okay. that's the, okay. So you take all the pre-images. Uh, yes, the pre-image, and you uh, look for the accumulate point of this uh, pre-image. All the accumulate points. Is the the, the 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 same definition of alpha limit for any case? So if you know that you're so 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 how can you check this? I mean, how does it compare with topological uh, transitivity? This ah, okay. transitivity. Uh, good. Let, let let me uh, let me explain in two ways. So uh, f is uh, transitive. This means that you have a dense set of points uh, such that, that uh, the alpha limits is everything. A dense okay. set. This is transitive. <coughs> and it is not only for a dense set, but all the uh, dense set of points, but all the points. You can, this is the one way to think. The other way is transitive. <laughs> uh, if you take the union of the forward interage of any open set, no, no empty, of course, then this is going to be the your whole space. Okay, so, sorry, this uh, sorry. Thanks. The, the, the closure of this is going to be the whole space. Yes. And the stronger positive means that indeed the, 
it's not necessary to get the, the, the closure. This for okay. open, huh? Sure. Okay, so, so, so in your abstract, you mentioned Vienna maps. Is it so? So, so it, it is satisfied for these uh, maps. So uh, uh, this is uh, when you going to to get a concrete example, you have to adapt it. it. So uh, you have to show uh, that uh, you can take out the, the critical region and also uh, you you get the same information. Let me explain what's the, 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 the delicate point here. Suppose that you ha have some critical region here, okay? And uh, you're, you're assuming that your map extends here, okay? You are, want to, to get the information of these this other things. So the point is you can get a point X and, and look for the invest branch of this point. And at some moment, this invested branch uh, uh, reach the, the critical set. So in this case, all the 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 the, the branch that uh, comes for the one you have to take away. So the the, the point is, give you a, a a a point here. You can you can define the let me say the alpha, the non critical alpha uh, as the as the alpha. Uh, alpha limit of the points as all you take all the inverse branch of this point, so the the the, the path of pre-made that in, in, don't hit the the critical point. You want to know that this is also uh, uh, mm -hmm. the, this pre-made is also dancing the space. So the 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 the, the, the points is uh, uh, in, in in general you. This is different, okay? So you have to be sure that uh, this, because you want to, to deal with this one, you have to be sure that this is going to be everything. So in the case of Vienna Maps, uh, what you can do? Uh, let me, let me uh, give a, a simple context. Suppose that you have the, to simplify the, the, the argument, suppose that you, are, uh, you have the Vienna map, the un unperturbed Vienna map. This, in this case, the, this map is analytic. So what uh, you have, this is the silent, and you have the critical region here. And uh, when you iterate the crit critical region, this is going to be some like that. And after that, something like that, same so on. But uh, as in this case, as an analyst, the, the intersection of uh, this, any iterate of this with is going to be or a finite number uh, of points, a discrete uh, uh, collection or is going to coincide. If it's, this coincides, you can see that the entropy, because the entropy, in this case, the, the, the intersection of the fiber is going to be finite. So the entropy is going to be less than the entropy of the, the, uh, of the base. Uh, the, 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 it is not, yeah, the circle yeah. map. Yeah. Yes, yes, the circle map. So, uh, so you, you, uh, this uh, uh, you can forget for this point. So the point here is you can show because of this argument that uh, uh, the the expanding measures, okay, with a high entropy, is going to have the property that the alpha x of x for this case is going to be the whole space for all points. Yes, for 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 uh, x. Uh, me typical, uh, me um, uh, uh, almost every point. 
point uh, e n uh, expanding with entropy uh, uh, big. So you can, because of that, we'll say, okay, so we can uh, forgot for this measure and uh, focus only the the expanding measure of high entropy. And in, in for this expanding measure of high entropy, you're going to get that. And so you can apply the abstract uh, calculations. Okay, thank you a lot. So, so in this case, you prove that these Vienna maps, they have a unique measure of maximal entropy? Yes, and also that uh, uh, if you have a, a potential of small, because in this case, uh, you can apply that. In this case, uh, as the map uh, is uh, C2, C1, C infinity, infinitum, the, the, the derivative is bounded by above. And so you have that, uh, that gap that I explained. And so you can show also that every uh, potential of small variation, whole potential of small variation, is going to have only one uh, uh, measure of, uh, uh, OK, uh, one equilibrium state, state, only one. OK, uh, does someone has any other question or comment? Well, I had a quick one, but I, I think maybe we're out of time, actually. So uh, maybe let me ask just only only if you have a very quick answer, Wilton. Is this do these examples, these these results really need your generalization? I mean, is not is everything not exponentially uh, zooming time in these examples? Do you have some examples where it's not exponential? No, the the problem is if you want to construct a uh, induced map that catch all this uh, this good uh, expanded uh, measure okay the, this this fat one it, you you see uh, if you take a, a measure here each measure here has the uh, 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 oh, they're all exponential but not uniformly so you need yeah, something yeah. sub exponential to capture them all okay yes. okay I understood thank you okay so as Stefan said we are a little bit out of time. So let's thank Wilton again. And I believe we can make a five minute break to start with Sneer. And then the chair will be